Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In the today's video I'm replacing on my 04 Cummins the ball joints, wheel hubs and the steering linkage. I hope you enjoy the video and let's start the work. Here we go, new one, old one, very nice. What I also did guys is I took those beautiful chrome trims off, <laughs> I think it looks much better without, I'm not a fan of stuff like that. Ball joint time for the passenger side, here we go. The procedure is the same on this side, on the passenger side, as you can see, I'm gonna take the lower bolt completely out. The topper one, I back them out about 10 turns. I take this extension here, hold it against. As you can see there, and then I can push them out quite easily. And on the other side, as you can see, I took, I don't know if you can see it pretty well guys, I take the topper one out totally and back out the lower one about 10 turns. So you may, you want to be sure that you be flush here. That would be enough. Then I take this extension here. I don't know if you can, I don't know the word in English. I'm sorry guys, but it got like an angle, you see. So that's much better. Put it on a socket. Put them in here. And you can see I just push them against the steering damper and the truck bar. like that and here we go yeah put the steering back in and then you can push them out yeah easily <laughs> I did this on my own guys and uh, as you can see it works perfectly yeah without any problems so easy as that there we go
Here we go. Okay guys, so uh, once I have all the parts off, I always clean them and paint them. You don't have to do this. I mean, it's not better or it's not, it won't dry faster. But uh, that's the way how I like it and the way how I do it all the time. And also, if you paint this pieces or any pieces, make sure that all the threads are clean and there's no paint in it. So make sure also to put grease in here before you put the new hub in, like this, if you, you ever have to take it out again, it will be much easier, yeah? Okay, I put a little bit of grease on here always. 
and on here to make sure that I don't damage the seal in the axle. This is the last thing what you want to do. Don't need much, just a little bit, but like this, it slides in better. Also make sure you put enough grease on here. Make sure you retalk this one on the end, yeah. Always put everything back on so you can brake or even put your tire on and then retalk it. Anyway, I'm gonna put the specs down below in the description, but I think it should be 263 foot pounds of torque. Guys, don't forget the hand cleaner, always on the end, yeah? Like this, yeah, nice cat. <laughs>